All right, this video is going to be on the red-black tree. So let's take a look at a red-black tree in general. So red-black is a binary search tree. That means that every node, its left child is smaller than it, and its right child is larger. Red-black has an additional property that each node is colored black or red. So it's one of those two things. So either black or red, the root of the tree, the whole thing, is always black. All of the leaves are considered black or null children. If you look at this one here, it has a left child, which is considered a black child. I didn't put all of the null children, but they're actually all considered to be black. So the left one off the six, left and right off seven, left and right off nine. They're all basically a null child that's black. That becomes important later on. It's up to you whether you want to implement it using nulls or not. Every red node has two black children. So this one has the four and the one. The six has the eight and the black null child here. And then the special thing about red black trees is that every path from the root all the way to a leaf counts through the same number of black nodes. So if we start from the five, there's one, two, and then the null one off to the left here, three black nodes going down that path. If I go through the four, one, two, and then null child, so three black nodes. If I go off to the right, one, two, and then the third black child. So the reason why that matters is that it means the longest path from the root to the leaf of a tree is at most twice as long as the shortest path. So it's a roughly balanced tree. This is more useful than binary search tree because if you put all of the numbers in order in a binary search tree, you could basically create a long right or left leaning tree. This one will actually rebalance itself. It makes it more complicated, but it also means that it's faster to add and remove things. So some terms are going to be important for this particular procedure. First of all, we're going to be looking at a particular node, n, and it's going to have potentially a parent and a grandparent, so going up two parent links. And the parent has a sibling, which I talk about down here. Basically, the other node at the same level is considered the uncle to this node here. And we have to worry about this relationship for coloring purposes. You may or may not want to have parent links for all of this, as well as ways to figure out the uncle on the other side. Also, if you look at a particular node, the sibling is the other child of the parent. So if you're a right, it's the left child. If you're a left, it's the right child. And we end up worrying about the siblings, left and right children as well. I'm pulling all of this terminology and the algorithms out of this red-black tree um, page from Wikipedia, because I'm pretty sure that page isn't going away. And it has a decent explanation of all the pieces we're using. So it has articles on all the pieces of the red-black tree. It actually does some analysis, which I am not going to cover. And it also talks about all the different parts, all the different cases that I'll be talking about in my videos. One thing I want to mention real quick is the idea of a tree rotation, which is important. So this, there's a tree rotation page as well. And I feel like this little graphic uh, well illustrates what's going on. So what happens is this beta branch actually switches parents and A becomes the child of B. And when you do a true rotation to the right, vice versa. So a couple things I want to mention about this. This seems rather straightforward. However, some consequences of this is that if you do switch, so if Q and P switch, notice that P's parent needs to be updated as well, or Q's parent in this particular illustration. It, these things all need their nodes updated, but the parents might as well. The other thing that you have to watch out for is if Q is the root, your head pointer to your whole tree may need to be switched because otherwise the tree pointer is pointing to Q and this whole branch is missing because it's further up the tree. So watch out for those things when you're dealing with rotation.